What's going on everyone, my name is Douglas Jennings, and today I have a very special review for you. Since next week is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Marvel's next endeavor into the Phase 3 of their MCU, I figure we take a look back in 2014 where we got this film, the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, in the ever-growing popularity of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it was left up to director James Gunn to come up with an idea for Guardians of the Galaxy. And there's a lot of there's some risks that were taken into account with this film. Particularly before this, all you had was Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, and the Avengers films. And this was coming off the heels of Captain America uh, the Winter Soldier, which was proven to be one of the very best of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And to, to say the least, any new property from Marvel is always going to be a risk. Take for instance, last year, when we had, or a couple years ago, when we had uh, Ant-Man, and then last year we had Doctor Strange. Guardians of the Galaxy was the first one for this. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is actually my first review that I did when I was on Tumblr. Yes, I used to be on Tumblr. I don't remember my login passwords. I don't... I frankly don't care. This was my only review I ever put onto Tumblr, so if anyone can find it, that would be great. But this was my first written review I ever did, and it's a very nostalgic trip for me going back in time to 2014 to re-review this film. Now, what is Guardians of the Galaxy basically about? Well, in 1988, Peter Quill, a young Peter Quill, gets kidnapped by Ravengers and is adopted by these Ravengers over the course of 30 years. Now jump to 2015? 2014? 2013? I don't know. It's, it's something around the ballpark of 2013 to 2015 in the timeline of this film. Uh, where Peter, Peter, Quill, uh, Peter Quill, or Star-Lord, if you may, uh, you know, he is now kind of the Indiana Jones of the space, space thing. I mean, granted, he's, he's kind of a thief. He's a thieving type of guy. Uh, and he steals this orb that has huge significance to the MCU. I'm not going to say what it is because, you know, granted, I know there's still people out there that haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one at least. Uh, but, you know, again, spoilers aside... You know, this orb is very, very important. Now, as he goes along, he goes to the Nova, uh, Nova Corps base, where he tries to exchange it with uh, a, a potential seller, where he meets Gamora, Dr uh, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot. Groot has since become a huge icon to the MCU, and pretty much one of the most favorite characters of all time. And if you look at the recent Guardians of the Galaxy uh, trailers, he is probably set to steal the entire show from their fourth. Now it's from there that the group, uh, the four people, get transferred to a prison where they also meet up with Drax the Destroyer, finally forming the entire Guardians of the Galaxy. And it's from there that they, that they go to a planet known as Nowhere, and they try to find out what this orb is. Why is it so sought after? by a certain character. Well, it turns out that, uh, well, I can't really explain anymore. Uh, and from there, it's up to them to protect the Guardian, uh, to, yeah. And from there, it is up to them to protect the galaxy from Ronan the, uh, Ronan the Accuser, who is hell-bent on trying to get this orb for some potential reason. And it, and uh, from there, it ensues in comedy, hilarity, fun action set pieces, and really beautiful, gorgeous CGI. I'm not gonna lie here, but this might be one of my favorite, if not my entire favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe film for a while. Maybe, maybe Volume 2 is gonna up, uh, outdo it, but I do think, in general, Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite films. It not only is its own film pretty much to a T, almost. You know, you still have the orb uh, that has some significance to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and some reoccurring characters from the MCU, but largely this is pretty much a close example to a brand new IP that you can get. You have five new main characters 
that are brought together by circumstance to fight off against Ronan the Accuser, and it turns out to actually be fun. It's funny, it's witty, it's very beautiful to look at. The CGI when I first watched this film was very well done. I could believe that these people were in space. I mean, granted, it's very colorful, it's not very, you know, realistic, but when it comes to the art design and the production design of this, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Now let's talk about each of the actors. When you try to do an ensemble piece, there can be certain characters that will get left off the list. However, with James Gunn's writing and his direction, he was actually able for me to actually get all five of these characters to have their own individual stories. Each of them has backstories, and some of them are explained off. Some of them are not exactly, you know, the best way to tell their origin, but you can actually understand where they are coming from. And that is very rare with ensemble type movies. And that was a huge risk that the Avengers actually took a couple years prior to this movie's release. And for a new IP that had no setup at all, and to actually have it make sense, and to actually have it be good, is something that was rare. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe, yeah. This is probably one of my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe films I have seen to date. The editing is fast, it's, it's loud, it's great, the music, the soundtrack is one of my favorites. I actually have the CD of it in one of my drawers here. It's actually one of my favorite soundtracks that I've heard in such a while. And let's not forget that this movie has Groot. <laughs> Alright, that, that's, that's all I should say. It's Groot. It's Groot. <laughs> One of the best things I've found in this film, aside from everything else, is the Stan Lee cameo. Every single MCU film has had a Stan Lee cameo. And this one was probably my favorite, if not, probably, I mean, granted, it's not the best. But I think it's one of my favorites. You know, it's just an old guy talking to a girl on a bridge. And, you know, uh, Rocket Raccoon's like, uh, What are you doing, you old geezer? Shouldn't you be doing something else or something like that? Some weird thing. But it's so funny the way he said it that it, that it actually makes it more memorable. Now, if it's one thing that, um, that I find to be a bit of a problem in this film is that the alien designs aren't exactly the best. When you have a film, when you have Star Trek a couple years later, about, like last year, when they designed like 50 different beautifully designed aliens, and all you do in this one is kind of like put different colored paint on people and some sort of prosthetics, you know, small little indents or something like that. They're not really the best looking aliens. They're just kind of like generic, like, oh, well, they're painted a different color, so they must be an alien. You know, it's not necessarily the best sort of alien design, but pretty much, you know, everything else about this movie works. I thought it was funny. Again, it's fast, the acting is pretty good, uh, you know, at times it can be cheesy, definitely. At times it can be cheesy, but it is, without a doubt, one of the most entertaining Marvel Cinematic Universe films I have seen. And for that, I'm going to give Guardians of the Galaxy a 9 out of 10. It comes very close to being the best Marvel Cinematic Universe film. Some people think it's the Winter Soldier, some people think it's Civil War, some people think it's the Avengers. For me, I think it's Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a very space opera type film that I love. This is, just, this is essentially Star Wars for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And that's kind of funny because Marvel is in the sort of comic business where they now produce Star Wars comics. So essentially they have two different sort of space opera type franchises under their belt in some sort of uh, some sort of manner. So that's all I have for you guys today. What do you think of Guardians of the Galaxy? Do you think it's a good film? Do you think it's a great film? Uh, do you think it's not really the best MCU but pretty close? Uh, are you guys excited for, uh, for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll see you behind the camera. Peace.